is going on my average gamer superman ryan here and we are back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh duel links and today ladies and gentlemen we're going to be doing some more pvp ranked matches because that's what we do here on the channel we do player versus player ranked matches on Yu-Gi-Oh duel links here is the deck that i'm going to be running i don't think that i actually showed you guys this deck the last time i used this deck i believe was um was against my well, it was during the subscriber duel video that i did a couple of days ago um against my but i am going to run through this deck with you really quick for just a quick second so we do have magician of black chaos that is the staple of this deck that is the most powerful monster in this deck we also have sonic bird and send you a thousand hands to get it out now i'm not running multiple of these cards because the main focus of this deck is is just winning it's not not getting magician of black chaos out that's not the main focus of this deck uh, I do have the Fiend Mega Cyber in here because Fiend Mega Cyber is great when it comes to getting out of a sticky situation quick, fast, and in a hurry. Sphere Karibo, obviously, for that little defensive edge. We have Sergeant Electro because I've said it a million times and I'll say it a million more. Sergeant Electro, if you have him and you're not running him in your deck, you're absolutely hashtag YouTube age gate crazy. Four Star Ladybug of Doom because Four Star Ladybug... <laughs> It's it, one that's going to go good against a Weevil deck um, with the Jade Insect Whistle. And two, because it is just another good defensive card. We have Duminous Dark Witch, Jerry Beans Man, Warrior Digrepher, and Neo the Magic Swordsman, because these are all some of the most powerful four star monsters in the game. Plus, Jerry Beans Man is a three star, so that's going to be good against a four star Ladybug. Uh, we do have Soul Exchange to help with. The Magician of Black Chaos, sacrifice that for the Ritual Spell, which I am running Contract with the Abyss and not the actual Ritual Spell for uh, Magician of Black Chaos. We do have Twister in here, because if you don't have at least Twister or D Spell in your deck, you really need to change that. It's, it's absolutely crazy if you don't. Big Bang Shot, because it does up our attack by 400, plus give us Piercing. And, little side note for those of you that might not have ever thought about doing this, if your opponent summons a very powerful monster, one that you just cannot get over, equip it with Big Bang Shot and then destroy it with your Twister. Because when Big Bang Shot is destroyed on the field, the equip monster is removed from play. That's a good way to get out of get a monster out uh, to, get, to help yourself get out of a sticky situation. Regretful Rebirth because that's going to help us again with our Magician of Black Chaos. Your opponent destroys your monster, use Regretful Rebirth, bring it back to your side of the field for one turn, and then just sacrifice it with, uh, with the Contract of the Abyss. Zing Zen Hu, because in my own personal opinion, if you don't have Zing Zen Hu or at least Royal Flush, I don't know what you're doing with your life. And the Conscription, because it's, it's always nice to have that chance of getting uh, your opponent's next monster. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's just hop on in to some PvP ranked matches. We are today using the, the Kaioken Goku Cup. All right. Who are we going up against today, boys? Who are we going up against today? Tip. Defeat high attack monsters. Use the block attack spell card to switch an opponent's monster defense position. Use the banner of courage spell card to increase your attack points. Oh, really? Is that how that works? Is that really how that works? I never could have guessed that. That's not beginner's guide 101. We are going to be going first, which is okay. At this point in the game, I don't really care if I go first or second. If I go second, I get to see what kind of deck my opponent's running. Kind of. And uh, plus I get to draw that extra card. If I go first, I get to set the field and start out really strong so my opponent has nothing to do but go into a defensive position. Um, I am going to use the skill Switcheroo. I'm going to put one of the Warrior Digrephers back in my deck to see if I can draw some sort of back row. We didn't. We drew Magician of Black Chaos, which is okay. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly okay with that. I am going to summon Warrior Digrepher in attack position. I'm going to do that because he's the most powerful monster in my hand that I can summon. So again, 
start off strong, get my opponent to immediately go into a defensive position. Uh, and then next turn, I can summon my Sergeant Electro and put him... Ooh, monster in attack position. What do you have, Jerry Beans Man? Jerry Beans Man. And that's going to suck for me because that's going to that's gonna get over my four-star Ladybug as well. And it is only 50, 50 life points I lose. What are we going to draw here? Can we... Hashtag heart of the cards in the comment section below. Zing Zenhu, there is our back row. Um, I'm going to have to switch a room. I'm going to have to switch a room. Don't expect any mercy from me. I think I'm going to have to throw Magician and Black Chaos back in my deck. I have two cards in here that are going to help me summon him. That does not help at all. Uh, I'm going to go Neo the Magic Swordsman in attack position. I'm doing this because, again, I'm only going to lose 50 life points. Not a big deal. If he summons another monster, probably going to be a four-star monster. So the next turn, I can throw my four-star ladybug out on the field. In my turn, he'll have a chance to summon another four-star monster. The point is, I want to get the biggest bang for my buck with this right now. So who is he summoning? Sergeant Electro. So see, I would love to take out Sergeant Electro right now. Okay. You ain't won yet. Now, I have been getting a lot of people telling me over the course of the last few days um, that they're starting to get higher up in the ladder, but their decks just aren't working. I'm not going to name any names or anything. Ooh, Jerry Beans, man. That works. That works. The one thing that I will say is if you guys have not seen it yet, I'll put it on a card up at the top of this video. I have made a video on how I make my decks strategically and specifically how I make my decks. If I need to make another video about it, I will. Just let me know that down in the comment section below. Um, however, I know some of you guys are just, you're making a deck, whether it takes you months to make that deck because you have to grind whatever material you have to get. You make a deck and then you use it and you might lose every time some of the time more times than you'd like like i said in that video guys again i'll link it up in the card at the top of this video um the first time you make a deck it's not ever going to work out the way that you want it to you're going to have to constantly adjust that deck to to help with whatever weaknesses it has he's really going to crash oh my gosh that was a, I mean, it took me down to a thousand life points, but that is a horrible plan. Oh. Oh, man. I mean, I guess it just depends on if he has, um, a Sphere Karibo in hand. If he has a Sphere Karibo in hand, it wasn't that bad of a plan, but just the one face down card and a 1300 attack monster, that's a horrible plan. That is an absolutely horrible plan because Sergeant Electro is going to nullify your face down card. Nothing's going to stop me from taking your monster out unless you have the Sphere Karibo in hand. And then I have Four Star Ladybug out on the or in my in my hand. So if you summon anything, anything to take out my monster that's four star, it's going to be gone the next turn. And then you set one more card face down, and I'm going to Zing Zen Who you. That was a horrible plan. Twenty-two cards still in. Wow, they have a huge deck. From my hand, activate a continuous spell card. Banner of Courage. And a monster in defense position. Now that kind of has me worried a little bit, but we're gonna be okay because we drew that swift second Jerry Beans man. So if it is a four-star ladybug, that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Sergeant Electro attack this face down monster. Because if it's a four star ladybug, it's going to destroy Sergeant Electro. It's not a four star ladybug. What is that? Other than things, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for an attack. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Anyway, I don't remember where I was at. But the whole point of this is 
when I make a deck, this deck that I make right here, <coughs> that you can see, wrong way, that you can see down in the corner, um, it's not the finished product, and it will not be the finished product by the by the time I change this deck up completely. It's still not gonna hit the finished product because every time I duel, every time I lose, I have to look at it and go, okay, why did I lose? What about this deck made me lose? Then I go and I change it. And that's how you win duels, is you're always, especially the higher up in the ladder you get. I mean, you could make the meta decks, you could go online, you could find a meta deck, uh, a meta deck deck build or deck list or whatever and you can make that deck and you can win a couple of duels but people learn how to beat these decks pretty pretty easily and if they learn how to beat your deck i don't know what to tell you you gotta change the deck up another one oh wow so we win we we got game boys we got game unless she has a uh spirit creepo in hand oh you're always going to want to change your deck up, though. That's that's the point. You're always going to want to change your deck up. Every time you lose a duel, you need to look at your deck and go, okay, why did my deck lose? And then adjust it accordingly. I drew too many monsters. Not enough not enough defensive traps. Take out a monster. Throw in a defensive trap. Try it again. I drew too many spells and traps. Not enough monsters. Okay. Take out a spell or trap. Whatever one is the most useless, and throw it a monster. Whether it be an offensive monster or a defensive monster. Whichever one you needed the most. Just, it's, it's part of the game, boys. It's part of the game. Alright, we're going to hop right on into the next one. As always, ladies and gentlemen, follow me down in these social media links down below. Uh, every single time that I get on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, every single time that I get on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, as long as I remember, I'm going to tweet out, guys, I'm getting on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. If you want to duel, hit me up. Win and you'll gain a rank from both of us. Ooh. But that is your best bet at dueling me, if that's what you want to do. Whether it's because you want to be featured on the channel, uh, in a subscriber duel video. With, ooh, Aroma Strategy. I remember that. Oh. Other than Switcheroo, that is my favorite, favorite skill that I've used so far. Anyway, whether you want to be featured on the channel, whether you want to just try out your deck, whatever. The, the best way, we'll put it this way. The best way for me to tell you what you could do to make your deck better is to duel me and me learn your weaknesses. Charge an Electro. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Okay, so I'm going to throw Zing Zen Hu face down. I'm going to summon Sergeant Electro this turn instead of Warrior Digrepper like last time. I'm going to start off with Sergeant Electro. I'm going to nullify that, that one back row. And then I'm going to go in and attack the monster. No more using that. Again, guys, if, if you have Sergeant Electro and you're not running him in your deck... It's, it's like Sphere Karibo. Throw him in whatever deck you got. Sergeant Electro is never going to lose you a duel. Um, Princess. Man, I, I want that so bad, but I, I just have not been able to pull it yet. Oh, I want Pump Princess so bad. And you're going to end your turn. Not gonna summon a monster, and you're just gonna go straight and end your turn. My dangerous. That's dangerous. Um, I am going to switch through. I'm gonna try to get the the uh, the ritual spell. Can I can I pull the ritual spell? I'm gonna put contractor the abyss. No, Jerry Beans man. I mean, I got a stronger monster out of the switcheroo, so I can't complain too much, but I would have much, much rather have gotten <laughs> the Contract of the Abyss. Special summoned. Uh, just a black chaos and just won the duel right, right here. 
this turn. I would have too. I would have won the duel this turn if I had to draw that. Man, that's just my luck. Just my luck. As always, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy this video, you like what we do here, consider hitting that like button. Show your support. It is more important than ever right now to show your support. All of your favorite creators. Not because YouTubers and your and your favorite creators are losing out on their money, but because we... For those of you that don't know, I'm, I'm going to talk about it for just a second. I recorded a video about it the other day. I just never uploaded it. Because I don't, I don't want to make it a bigger deal than what it is uh, and it is a big deal but it's it's not the biggest deal it'll work itself out eventually um, but for those of you that don't know a lot of name brand companies have pulled their advertisements off of YouTube YouTube has lost so far from this happening in the last month YouTube has lost over one billion dollars, at least, at least from from the numbers that I hear, one billion dollars. Who, who are you summoning in attack mode? Four star ladybug, dispel. Are you going? You're going after my trap. What? What are you doing? My hand, black pinned it. What are you? What are you doing? Thirteen hundred. So you could crash. Is that what you're gonna do? Are you gonna crash? No. You're not. I mean, it's kind of a smart play because now all of my monsters. Well, no, no. Jerry Beans Man would still be powerful enough to get over that. Um, what the freaking frack are you doing? Okay, so I am gonna do this. I'm gonna switch room. I'm gonna try to get again. I'm gonna try to get this this ritual spell. We're gonna put Jerry Beans Man back in the deck. We get it. Uh, you can add one ritual spell card. Yes, exactly. Perfect. That's perfect. That is as close to perfect as we could get, other than just pulling the ritual spell. I will talk more about what I was talking about here in just a second once I end my turn. I want to make sure that I'm kind of concentrating and not, <laughs> not messing stuff up. Okay, so we're going to do this. Contract with the Abyss. We're going to summon him. We're going to get rid of this. And we're going to get rid of that. I really don't want to do that, but that's what we got to do. We'll be okay. Position of Black Chaos. Attack position. Now it's it's all dependent on what this face down card is. I'm going to attack with Jerry Beans Man. I'm going to attack with Jerry. Jerry Beans Man's going to take it out one way or another. So if this is a face down uh, mirror wall. Is it? Is it mirror wall? No. Reverse trap. I. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so what I was talking about. Uh, from the numbers that I know, from the numbers that I've heard going around, YouTube has lost about one billion dollars. Meaning, all of your favorite YouTubers, they're losing out on money. So when I say. Show your favorite YouTubers, show your favorite content creators support by liking the videos and commenting and whatnot. It's not because it's going to help make them money. It's it's just not. But it is going to show some of these brands, hey, we like YouTube. We like these guys. You might not think that they're advertiser friendly because they say fuck. Or they yelp damn it when they when they lose a life on a video game but we like them we consider them advertiser friendly so come back to us come back to us i don't know i don't know everything will work itself out it always does it's youtube it's youtube youtube is becoming the new tv whether whether people want to admit it or not more people are spending time on youtube and hulu 
Netflix, services like that than they are on cable. I haven't owned cable in like three years. I can afford cable. I just don't watch it. I'd rather watch YouTube. I'd rather watch Hulu. I'd rather watch Netflix. That's where the world is going, and anybody that's not, anybody that's pulling their advertisements from YouTube right now is going to learn very quickly uh, that that's just not, it's not the smartest play right now. They'll learn. We are going up against a Rex Raptor. I don't see very many Rex Raptors anymore. So this is going to be, this is going to be interesting. If you guys don't know what I was talking about with the whole YouTube crap going on. Uh, and you want me to make a video about it. You said I already recorded one. I haven't uploaded it. I don't plan on uploading it right now. If you want to see that video, let me know down in the comment section below. I might just re-record it. Uh, and go into a little bit more detail. All I have to say, all I really had to say in that video is... This is what's going on. It's going to affect the channel a little bit. I'm going to have to watch my mouth just a little bit more uh, than I normally do. It's not going to stop me from saying fuck, obviously. Um, but I will have to watch my mouth just a little bit. But it's it's not it's not going to affect the channel really any any. Oh my gosh, that is great. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely beautiful. That may have just won us the duel right there. That conscription may have just won us the duel right there. Can we draw a Sergeant Electro right now? No, but we can draw a Twister. We can draw a Twister. That is absolutely, that is absolutely beautiful. The worst possible thing that he's going to be able to do right now is um, just change us to defense position when we attack. Whether it's from Windstorm, Sphere Karibo, Econ, whatever. That's that's the worst thing that he's going to be able to do. 2600 and he's going to do piercing damage. No monsters on the field. One card one one back row it's oh my gosh even if it's mirror wall even if it was mirror wall he would lose over 2,000 life points I think yeah 18 yeah ah there's fear Karibo but he would have lost over 2,000 life points he wouldn't have been able to use it for the next turn that's just absolutely beautiful and with his field spell gone, and me with 1700 defense, it's going to be difficult to get over that with a four star monster. What is that? Ritual spell. What? Oh, you're kidding me. Turn two. 2400 attack. That is insane. That may have just won him the duel. That may have just won him the duel. That's absolutely freaking insane. Man. If I'd have known he'd have had any... And that used up his entire hand. If I'd have known that he'd have had any card like that in his hand, I wouldn't have even attacked with it. I'd have just solely attacked with... What can we do to win this? Big Bang shots out of the question. Got Fiend Mega Cyber, but that's not going to help. It's not powerful enough. The only thing that I can think of is keeping at least one monster on the field and then drawing uh, Sonic Bird. Drawing Sonic Bird to get my spell. My contract with the abyss. Oh no, no. Okay, fifteen hundred. So it depends on who attacks who. Damn it. He's smart. Smart. Make the weaker one attack the monster that you know it's gonna get through. I don't think we have a chance in hell this time. But 
That's okay. We we've won what two out of three duels now. Oh, Sphere Karibo. Oh man. Oh man. Eighteen hundred. Gosh. Here's. This is going to tell us if we win the duel right here. The Switcheroo. Hashtag Heart of the Cards in the comment section below. We need a Fiend Mega Cyber. We need a Fiend Mega Cyber. Fiend Mega Cyber. Hashtag Heart of the Cards in the comment section below. Okay. Ready? What did we get? I'm not even. I'm just gonna look at the screen. I'm not. Ah! I'm gonna defense mode. I gotta put him in defense mode, just in case he sacrifices that to summon a stronger monster. Um, I mean, we still have next turn. Two headed King Rex is not gonna be able to get over it. Who are you attacking with? Nope, it's not gonna be able to get over it. <laughs> Excuse me. No, no, I don't want to want to activate that right now. You're in for a licking. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hashtag heart of the cards in the comment section below. This draw right here, this draw right here is going to tell us whether we win or we lose. Heart of the card. Soul exchange does not help. Soul exchange does not help. I didn't know I had an extra switcheroo. That's I put all my all my eggs in that one basket. Didn't even realize I had another switcheroo. Oh my! Are you kidding me? You're absolutely joking. Ah! I mean, not much else that I can do. I can I can throw a card. I can throw it face down and and. Make it. But there's not really much else that I can do. I really just need to accept defeat, but we don't quit here. I am the great value king of games. And I really thought that we had this duel too. Whatever. As always, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the channel, you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, we do this a couple times a week. I don't know. You have to you have to follow me on Twitter down in the social media links down below. But to see my schedule for my videos. Uh no, it would be pointless. It'd be pointless to activate that. So make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified as soon as my videos go live. But not only as soon as my video goes live, but as soon as I go live on YouTube, because we do load live every single Saturday. Noon Central Standard Time, but sometimes we go live earlier. That's why you want to hit that notification bell so you can be notified if we go live earlier. Oh, we lost, boys. We lost. We lost this turn. What is the effect? I lost, I lost an extra 200 life points. Crazy. We, we lost anyway. But that, ladies and gentlemen, with that, that's going to be it for this video. As always, like I said, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that like button if you like this video. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. I know I did that backwards a little bit, but that's because I'm talking so fast because I'm drinking so much coffee today. I want all of you to have a very, very beautiful day, and remember to keep it Gucci. Peace, guys.